and you want six. So find where five is. Where is it? And it's listed, it's listed as B. See B5? And where's B6? Right below it. Okay, now let's look at it together. Right there it tells you use pieces what? What's the difference between yours and this one? Look at the letters. What's the difference? Mm. What does this say? K-L-M-N-O. What does this one say? K-L... Uh-oh, what's missing? N. N, yes. So, what do you think N is? Oh, you want to see what N is? It's over here. It tells you what every pattern piece is. So find N, and what does it say it is down here? Bib. Guess what the bib is? <laughs> what you chose. That's called a bib. Can you imagine? You're not a baby, but it has a bib on it, okay? So, we need the same pieces, except you need an extra what? N. Right? All right, so now I want you to look through here. And very carefully, these are tissues. We want to find what pieces? What did we say we needed? What's the first one? K. Right? K L M O. K L M N O. So let's see what we can find. See what you find. Open those up and see if you can find K L M N O. What piece is that? Can you see what it says it is? A. We don't need A, do we? Let's put that over here. Excuse me. What do you have? B? Do we need B? Do we need C? No. No? Okay. It's like unwrapping a present, isn't it? Trying to find which ones you want. What one's that? It's D. Do we need D? No. Oh my goodness, no. All right. You open that one and you open this one and see if we can't find the pieces we need. Let me get scissors here while you're doing that. Oh my goodness, he's a little peanut, isn't he? <laughs> Did he eat good? Oh my goodness. Alright. You find one, don't yell at him. Just say, yeah. Careful, Rachel. Oh, it's connected. Yeah, they're connected. What'd you find? <gasps> she found one. Okay, what's this one? F. We don't need F, do we? But we need K, don't we? Okay, so you're going to take these scissors and you're going to cut like right between them like that, okay? Go ahead. Okay, what'd you find? Anything you needed? another hint too. In. See how it says? Oh, you found in. There's your bib. Okay, now I want you to cut. You don't need that one. I want you to cut. Oh, do we need L too? And do we need M? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We have a, a whole slew of them that we need. Okay, so here's K. And O, do we need O? Yeah. Yeah, what is that? Say it is. What does it say what that is? See, O, what does it tell you beside it right here? Tie. And, right? Five and six. It also tells you the number so that you can go, oh, yeah, that's fine. What, what bib is this for? Bib. 
five. Okay, you get to cut the bib out. Okay, so we'll turn it this way. Since you're the bib girl. Okay, so go ahead and just cut around there. No, cut it. Um, loose just cut, cut it between. Rough cut. Yeah, there you go. Out cutting your pocket. Because we're going to just lay these on here. And we're going to cut them while we cut the paper. Okay, stand up so you make sure you're not going to cut into your bib. There you go. Okay, now let's turn it so you can get to it. Wait a minute. Now you can get to it. Okay, oops. Now on patterns, they always have like extra pieces. Just cut straight across, it's fine. Oh, 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 oh. Don't tear it. Slowly. <laughs> Cut it, don't right. tear it. So there's yours. Now look at this. This tells you some information if you're going to work with plaids, okay. all kinds of things. Okay, now just cut right here to cut the pocket out, okay? And you both need pockets, don't you? Now, you cut the waistband. You need M. And your job is to figure out what we're missing. So look on here. What pieces do we need? Remember? Five and six, what do we need? What are the letters? What are the letters that we need? O. Mm-hmm. So we need L and O, that's what we're missing. We'll look those right here. There's O. So now let's just cut across the top of here. Cut right, cut there to there. Once I don't, I know I don't need anything like this, I kind of fold it up and get it out of my way. So I know that's not one that we want. Okay, so put that there. We need, know we need O, and we already have M and K. So we have K, M, N, O, L, and what, what's your bin number? What are all the letters? Is what are the mean? letters? Yeah. Read her all the letters. What are the letters that we need? What's the first letter? A. Right here. Oh. Yeah. Right there. What's that letter? K L M N O. Okay, so we have L K L M. What's that? What letter is that? Look at the bottom. N. Yeah, on the back. N. Oh, so do we have everything we need? We do, don't we? We didn't even have to play hide and seek with this one. All right, so I'm just going to put these over here for now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get your fabrics, and you're going to cut your bib out first, okay? Since you're the only one doing the bib. All right, so we'll cut your bib first. Put these over here. Rebecca, are you sure you don't want a bib? No. It'll keep food from splattering on your front. Mm. I already have one exactly like it. But it's okay. not for cooking. So. <laughs> Alright, this is what we chose. Oh, you already chose? There it wow. is. Wow. I'll tell you. Our one that can't decide decided first. Really? So, yes, I was surprised. <laughs> Alright. Sweaty. There's that. Okay, now take the rubber band off for me. Okay, so now we have to look at how they tell us to lay it out. So your apron five and your apron six. All right, what did I tell you about selvages? Remember, see it says selvage and fold. 
What is the selvage edge? Do you remember? Oh, I failed. Okay. She, Rachel's <laughs> showing you. Very good. <laughs> okay. So when it says selvage, see it tells you where to put the selvage? Now, look at the star. Why do you think there's a star? What do you think that star is going to mean? Look at that, how it's hanging off the material. It means watch out, because we only need one of those. So that's why there's a star to say, hey, don't cut two, don't waste your material. So it's kind of making you go, wait, okay. All right, so you're going to cut your apron part first. So find K. Over here by me. All right. I want you to open your material up off of the cardboard there. And the other thing we want to decide is how long we want them. Do you want them to hang to the floor so you trip and fall? Yes. No! <laughs> no, we don't. Okay. I do. Oh, dear. You want to trip and fall? No. All right. So, one of the ways we can do that is we can measure or we can hold this up to you. All right? So, come over here, Rachel. Let's see how much, how long you want it. See that line right there? What does that say? Can you read that word? Waste line. So, this goes, this little mark goes where you would normally. There's your belly button. Right there. Okay, so that's in the middle. So, how long? Is that too long? Look how long this is. Do you think that's too long or just right? Just right. Okay, stand up. Come here, short pants. <laughs> Here's your belly button. Now look where it comes to you. Right there. You think you can stand that? Yeah. You don't want it like up here? No. No? Okay, all right. All right, so now we have to, can you open up, unfold your material? Not that way. There's two layers. And it's always easier to put the fold next to you. So there's the fold. Oh, okay. Because most of the things that have to be on the fold are very particular. So we want to make the fold toward us. So we're going to cut your K out first. And then she can cut it out while you're cutting your bib out. Okay? So now, look at your pattern. Let me fold it here. Where does it tell you? Here's K. I want you to figure out where it goes. Where is K on here? Right there? See that funny line? Mm -hmm. Do you know what that means? There's a funny line here. Boop, boop. It says place on the fold and we don't cut here. So we have one whole piece at once, okay? So now I want you to lay this here and make that line be on your fold. And you pay attention because you're going to do this next. Good. Now, is it big enough to hold it? Yes. Good. We always want to flatten it out. Now, is that right on the line? Right on the fold? The dotted line. Is it dotted line on the fold? Okay. okay. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that that stays there. So we're going to pin it. Right on the fold line. Either way you want to pin it because, guess what, we don't cut there. So it doesn't really matter. Okay. Whoop. Not too close, just hold it down. Put one right here maybe. Because all it's doing, we're not going to cut there, we're just going to hold it there. Okay. Good. And one on the end, make sure it's on there. Is it right on the line? Good. Now, we are going to cut here, so make sure you don't go across there too much. Good. All right, one at this end. Make sure it's there on there flat. Right there, in that corner. That way it stays right there. Then you can just do whatever you want with the rest of it. Okay. Good. Whoop! You're going to have to cut that. Yep. Good yeah. Job. 
There you go. Now remember, because we're gonna, we don't cut there so we can do anything we want, but the rest of this, remember how we're gonna pin it? We're gonna pin it so that the pin does not go across this line, okay? So you just keep smoothing it out and pinning it. Make sure the fabric's not wrinkled. Go ahead. Maybe put one there and one here. Don't go across that line. Go the other way. <laughs> you can, nope. You can stand up. You can stand up. We don't want any pin to be there. So you want a pin like in here. Very good. Good. All right. Let's flatten it out. Put another one right here. Not across the line if you don't want to sew it. Good. All right. That's good. Now go up here and do the same thing. Go across, and then I may have to move so you can get over here. All right. Do you want to cut out over here on this table? Over here? Okay. So you can go ahead and get your material ready. Keep going. We need pins on there. All right. How about if we go here? You can go around to the other side of the table if you need to. Yeah. Alright, bring your material. Nope. Not outside the line. That's where you're going to cut. Where's the only place that we can put pins outside, outside the line? Yeah. Remind us. Do you remember? Not to cut a certain place. Okay, go ahead and open your up like she did. show you something. Remember how these are notches and that's going to tell us where to put something? The only time I would pin outside the line is right there to remind you don't cut there. We cut out. Remember how we cut and made a notch? Okay. Now cut it right here on this outside line. Just the fabric, right? Or Just the, the fabric and the pattern. Okay. Yeah. Because we're cutting it on the big side, so it doesn't really matter. But just stay on that outside line. There's a lot of pins. I need to get it all off. Go oh. slow. I had a lot of people make this pattern. All right, now open it up like this. Make it flat. So and flatten it as good as you can. You have to like cut it on that line. All right. So now, as soon as she finishes with this pattern piece, you can use it. There you go. Now, let me get it started because that got a little bit skinny right there. <laughs> can scoot back a little bit. We're making a wide cut. <laughs> Now just try to stay on that line, okay? As close as you can to it. Good. <laughs> Your pins. doing the tie okay and we're going to start at this end okay. and what letter is that okay so see how they have you do oh right there okay so because we have all this extra there we're going to go like Okay, so now start pinning. Do you remember? 
remember, just like with her, you want to pin over the line. Flatten it out. And then we're just going to cut this whole thing out. All right? Good, good, good. How are you doing, sweetie? Okay, I'll come back this way. How are we supposed to do this? Take the pin out? It's no. just a reminder? It's a reminder that you cut around it. Okay, so it's okay for it to be gigantic? Yes, yes. I'd rather be gigantic than somebody going, no, where is that? <laughs> Down the line. Get closer. There you go. Back you got it. It's good. Oh, look, you got a little piece there. <laughs> okay. Now, what else do we do to a pattern that I told you about? It, it involves using a little wheel. Do you remember? You remember the salvage. Let's see if you remember the next thing. See these little dots? What do you think we need to do with those? Bless you. Do you remember? Let me get this out and see if you remember. How are you feeling? Did you get it all pinned? Don't cut it till I look at it, okay? Uh, let's see. Let me see if you remember if I take this out. Okay. How about this? So where do we want to mark it? On the right side of the material or inside? Inside. inside. Very good. All right. So now I want you just to put a X across there. On the circle? Yeah. Hard. Okay. Now check it and see if it came out. That would be inside. Remember, that's where the paper. <gasps> there it is. Did it show up there? Maybe a little bit. Let's do it again. Hard. So it goes all the way through. Good. All right. Now look and see if it's there. It is. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is you can take the pins out of this one. Okay. Go ahead and take them all out. Put them back in the thing. Did you get all the pieces out? Pins out. Nothing's worse than picking up a piece of fabric and going ah! and ripping the pattern. So we make sure we have it all out. So now we're gonna fold this. Oh, there's one more. Oh. It was not in the paper. <laughs> it was not in the paper. paper. Okay, so now you've got the apron part. Now look at your oh wait, she's gonna lay out over here. What do we need next? Look at your layout. What did we just cut out? Your V5. What did we just cut out? Okay. Okay. So, do you want to do in next? Is it on the fold or is it on someplace else? Mm, someplace else. Okay. Near the salvage. Yes. Very good. So there's K. Now which way does it go? Look at the pattern and look at the pattern piece. Make it look like that. Very well, you're getting closer. Nope. No, you were on the right you track. You were on the right track. <laughs> there you go. Very good. The object is to save as much material as we can, but look, is it near the fold? You just said it was near the selvage, so where's the selvage? Yes. So you may need to come over here, and anytime we're going to cut something close to the selvage, 
We want to make sure we don't get down where our notch was because in our sleeve, it, our bib would have a notch in it. So what we're going to do, we go like this, and there's a big cutout. You always want to pin close to here first so that it stays straight, right? So I'll put one here, and I will put one here so it stays straight. Okay, now I'll put one here. Now, do you think we're going to cut this part out here? Um, yeah. Yeah. So you want to put pins on this side, here, and here, because we're going to do the large. So we just we it's easier just to do large and take up. So go ahead and pin all the way around it now. Make sure you go like this every time so it gets smoothed out. How are we doing, sweetie? Yeah, just make sure it stays down. Good job. Keep going. Around here on this side too, you may have to move around, but good job. Whenever we have this, you go like this. This is telling you to put a pleat. So what it means is when it goes on to the apron, you're going to fold this and fold this so it fits in the waistband. And then it gets bigger when it goes around you. So we're going to take this material. What do we, what do we call this? Remember? Tracy? Because it makes a mark. Okay, we're going to take it and go like this. between there and you're going to take the little pizza cutter and see how there's a dotted line and a solid line and then there's a dot you go like this with the dot which kind of hard the solid line you're going to go solid and the dotted line you're going to do this so that when you get to it you can see that there's this 
solid line and the dotted line. Because the pattern's going to say, take the solid line, fold it to the dotted line. And you're going to go, oh, which one's the dotted? They're all solid. So what you do, I want you to do the same thing to this. Make an X there, a solid line, and then doot, doot, doot. You have to push kind of hard. All right, you want me to check yours? You ready? Let's see it. I shouldn't have had that coffee. I'm getting hot. Okay, wait, we need, still need a pin down here so this doesn't move on us. And didn't you say we're going to cut in here? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So we need to pin here. And here. And pins are your friends. I like how you pin the rest of it. That was good. We need to put two here so it doesn't wiggle on us when we cut. All right. The easiest way to start with this is to cut like across, across the bottom first. Across the bottom first and then go up here. Okay? And start to curve around. When you get up here, oops, he's kind of over. When you get up here, I want you to go straight across and come down this side. Then we have it all loose and we can cut the inside. Okay, start right here and cut across. And then go up that side. Did it make it mark it? I don't know, look. Lift it up. See if you did it. Follow the mark. Is the mark on this side? Yes, very good. Alright, now, the only other thing we need to mark is this fold line. Okay, so in between here, you can always put the paper in between so that the marking side is on the wrong side. We don't want to have somebody look at our paper and go, what is that yellow thing on there? I don't know, I don't remember doing that. It actually, it washes out, but you don't want it to show begin with. So we're going to put it like this. Now I want you to make a mark from here to there. Follow that line right there with your pizza cutter. Look too hard, girl. Here? The large one. What are you doing, <laughs> you crazy girl? Make sure it did it. Peek underneath there. Oh, it did. Yay, you can kind of see it. You kind of see it or not? Okay, put it back on there. Push hard. Do the same thing. I mean, it's like, it's a really thick crust pizza. Okay? Now she's done with this piece, but she's going to need this piece eventually. So we'll do it next. Okay, so we're going to take this off of here. And because we're taking the pattern pieces off, normally I leave the pattern piece on, but because we don't we're using the same pattern for two people. When I make a bunch of the same pattern, I always do this. Let me get my purse here. And I'll show you a little trick. Oh, man. I'll show you a trick to keep them straight, okay? So you go, when we go to sew, we go, wait, what piece is that? Because normally you just leave the pattern piece on. Do you think that these ones might be easier? Yeah. Okay. So try this. What I want you to do. Do you like this? Don't 
you don't well, have to use them outside this. of the line. It's very nice. O tie in, right? So you're gonna we're gonna write that on this we'll little get piece this of paper. We'll get this and do a rough cut. It it so we don't forget what it is. So when it says take these O, what is it? Is it this one or this one? So to make, I make six or eight purses at one time, and I have all these pieces, so I always do this. Okay? All right, now, let's go ahead and make the thing for this. This is M. Okay, where does it say it goes? Can you take over right now? Let's see, you're eight, six. Where does M go? Can we just cut out O? Now we must cut out, and it is ready. Right above where it was, wasn't it? Okay, so we can cut, lay this here, and cut that out. Pin it down really well. Make sure your arrow stays straight, so pin it down. And I'll make you a mark here, a little marker. So what was your trick when you make six Person. You because if I'm making one thing, I leave it the pattern. I take the pins out, but I leave the pattern piece on. So then when it says take piece number six, I see what it is. But when I have six that I'm making at once, I take a piece of paper and I write oh and the pin letter it on there and then what it is on it, and then pin it to that piece and then I remember what piece it is and yes. what it is. Okay. Yeah, and I, I have a lot of patterns that I've put on. Um, I know you've used butcher paper before. I use cardboard. And so it's hard and you don't ever, <laughs> you have to take it off. It's not going to stay. So I've done all my patterns that I make a lot of inside the pattern container. I put little pieces of paper and I, you know, one time I made six of one purse and I just, I was in a hurry, so I kind of threw them all together. So next time I went to make it, I'm going, oh gosh, one of these, one of these, one of these. All right, you doing good? All right, let me go see what sister's doing. How we doing, sweetie? Need help? Here, let me show you a trick. Because we're got, oh, we're gonna go like this. And now, like that okay okay so now just go around on this big line on the middle good take your time going around that curve and then just stay on the big line that you can see You picky pin person, you. <laughs> You're picking out your pen, you silly goose. Good, good job flattening it out. How we doing? Now, because you're the only one doing the apron bib, did you just poke yourself? <laughs> or did you push it out? Is it still there? Oh! <laughs> Listen, let me tell you, it happens a lot. <laughs> Here, why don't you come from this way and go around. All 
Are you happy now? You got the right color of pins in it. All right, let me check it. Pay attention to what you're doing. You don't want to cut the paper in the wrong place. This, all right. Cut around it. Oh, check. What's that called? You remember? It's a notch, which means when you get to there, I want you to go doop, 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 like this. Because that's going to tell you in the pattern, it'll say match the notch to the notch. So we're just going to leave it like that. Now cut here and then cut from there, okay? And cut all the edges off. Alright, you're done with this one, so she's ready for that one. Alright, now is there anything to mark on there? <laughs> That's a funny piece, isn't it? Alright, do you see anything that dots or anything that needs mark? Oh, very good. Let me get you the pizza cutter. All right. So it shows that you need... Oops. So what do we do? We take the pins out right here. Good. And let's go ahead and take that one out because we've got a mark right there. Now where do we get where are we gonna put this? Very good. Put it right there. Now we're gonna mark that dot and that dot. Hard. Stick crust pizza. Okay, now this one. This one? Nope. Put one up here. Now we always check it. Can you see it? Can you see it here? Yeah. Okay. Guess what? What's on this side? Same thing, isn't it? Okay, so take those pins out. You need to cut that. And there's two dots down here we're going to need. Check it. Yep, there and there. Good. All right, now there's two more. Where are they at? Turn it around to you find where you need to mark another one. We did those, we did those. Oh, there you go. All right, now. Go ahead, put it where it needs to be. And pizza cut. Big one. And then there's one on the other side. Check it and make sure it did it. All right, how do we do? Are we getting this side done? Oh, there's another notch there, wasn't it? I missed it. That's okay. We left a big swap. It's a match. Check the bottom. Did it make the mark? I guess. Mm -hmm. Go to the other side. The other corner. Alright. Okay. So now we did good to here. Good. So just take this. Go ahead and take that off. You get a little scared in the back here. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna start right here and finish cutting to right there, okay? Did it make it? Very good. Okay, so now, are you the only one making the bib? Okay, mm -hmm. so guess what we're gonna do? We're only gonna take the pins out and then I'll show you how to fold it so that you can tell what piece it is. So take the pins out, put them in your 
so they don't roll all over and little brother starts crawling around and finds pins or you walk and find a pin that would hurt wouldn't it yeah one more okay so now all the pins are out so what we're going to do is we're going to fold it like this like this because look what happened so when I turn it over now where's piece in right there now this one because you're both making the same thing look what I did to it it take the pattern piece off so I put K apron so it's easier once you get them start cutting to do that all right so now what's next let me get the pattern Back and forth, pattern back. Okay. Can you do it? Alright. Find where you might need some pizza cutter. There's pizza cutter pieces on it. Okay, so now you did that one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. What can go below it? What letter is that? Oh. Okay. So here is oh. Unfold your material. Now, we're going to put O real close to here, right like this, okay? I don't want it to get caught in where you cut it, but like right here. So let me pin this side and then you pin the rest because I want it to be straight. Because guess what's going to come here? What needs to there then? M. Yes. And there's plenty of room for M. Did you find the pizza cutter pieces? Did you find them all? You gotta take the pin out wherever the pizza cutter piece is. Is it a circle? Did, Did you find the circle? She says she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay. Alright. Let me let me finish putting her pins right here so it doesn't move on her. Alright, you ready? I think so, so take there the pin out. Oh. Okay. Now, you pin the rest of it. Let me see. Think you have it? You drinking mom's water. <laughs> okay, good. We're gonna start cutting it out now. Now because we have to put O here, let's see. Let's see, she's got O going. It's not quite look, see, it's not as long or M isn't as long. 
So we can go ahead and cut right there. So start right there and cut from the bottom, whoops, up to the top of that, okay? Go ahead. turn it or you can start down here, whichever's easier. Go ahead and finish that. All right, did you find the other ones? Good. You can turn the fabric if you want to, Rachel. Yeah, or you can come out from the other way. <laughs> be easier, yeah. Rachel. Since you're right-handed, you start right here. It in a slide, yeah. Good, 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 good. You can sit in the chair and move the piece around because it's free from the other fabric. the table though. Right. And then you can see better. Turn that piece sideways. Yeah. Let's put the pocket. Like, put it like that. Right here. Yep. Sit in the chair. Right. And come up. So now you can pin Sit the in the chair. And you can pin the apron on. Go ahead. <laughs> and then your pieces will all be cut out. right-handed. My husband is left-handed and both my daughters are left-handed. And I never thought about, you know, she's home and I'm doing crafts with her and I you never turn paid that around, Rachel. I never paid attention and she was trying to cut the way I did. So she's with her left hand going this way. I never paid attention to it till she when she went to kindergarten, her teacher said she cried every day when it was craft time. I need to go home. I think my mom needs me because she was cutting wrong. And it was frustrating to her. She's a perfectionist, always has been. So, very good. You getting a pinned on? You're going to run out of colors. Very good. So, anyway. My husband goes, well, look, right? this is how we do it. 
She goes, well, why didn't you tell me? I go, I didn't know you were doing it the other way. So he had to teach them to tie their shoes. He had, you know, there's a lot of left-handed things that you don't think about, but. Wow. So my daughter, my oldest daughter, married a right-handed person, and both their kids were right-handed. My youngest daughter, who's left-handed, married a left-handed person, and one of their children is left-handed. And the other one's right-handed, so I'm having to teach Ray to do stuff because they're left-handed. So. You doing okay? Do you need help? You, want, you ain't running out of pens? She's color coordinating her pens. Rebecca, that makes it take longer. <laughs> Here's another trick. Pull that piece that's hanging off up onto the table. That way it won't be pulling on your material. That's why it was pulling on you. It kept... She's going crazy now. She's not color cording. Lay it flat so you can see it. Good. any that you needed? <gasps> Did you drop a pen? You dropped the big book. Oh, okay. All right, so here's what we need to mark. Show me. Let me show you a trick. See how there's a, oops, a minute. We're going to go between here. See how there's a straight line and a mm -hmm. dotted line, and then there's circles. The circles we're going to mark, but when we get ready to sew, it's going to say, Take the solid line and fold it to the dotted line. And you're gonna go, if you go like this on both of them, how are we gonna know which one's dotted? Let me show you a trick. We're gonna go solid here and dotted here. Doot, doot, doot. Now look, can you tell the difference between where it's solid and dotted? Oh, good. All right, we'll do the dots and do the same thing for that. Hold it flat. Okay, how are we doing? I think you are ready to cut. The easiest thing to do is just cut straight across there so that then you don't have to like, cut, cut the bottom of the pocket first. actually called, I should call the things by the right name, that is called a tracing wheel. Can you see how it traces and it's a wheel? Okay, I like to call it a pizza cutter. How's that? Okay, now any place else it has dots. Oh, no, there's not a dot, but there's this. 
on the end of the tie is going to have a nice pointy part to it. So over here, oh, we're going to get that pin up before it takes a dive. We're going to draw a line right like that. We're going to trace that line. Wait, you got to put the paper in there first. <laughs> put the paper in there. Good. Okay. Now, is it going to trace on the hair? Nope. We want to go like this. Because we're going to go this line right here. Okay. Hard, thick crust pizza. All right. Take all your pins out. Did it make it? Good. All right. How are we feeling? sister's going to need this piece because she doesn't need that one. So what we're going to do is you tell me if there's anything that you think needs marked on that. Alright, did you get it all done? Take all the pins out. Okay, what piece is this? O. Tie in. We're going to take this off and put it over here because I think you both are done with that. But we'll put it like this. Other pieces right here. All right. This is the only one you need. Now, what does M say? And you need the pocket that she's working on. What does M say to do to it? Is that the one that hangs off? Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Cut one. We only need one. So we're going to open this up. And all you have to do is lay this flat out, pin it, and cut it. Okay? All right, let me take this pizza cutter. Ooh, my pin's up. All right, let's see. What do you think the pocket needs? Does it need anything? Are we making view something? Are we making, do you remember what view you're making? Six. Six. So for view five, she's going to cut it lower. Okay, so for view five. This is what you need to mark. What does that say? You did that? So we're going to mark that because then it's going to tell us to fold on the line and turn it over. So this is actually going to go like this when we get done. We're going to go, we're going to sew it here like this and then we're going to turn it over and pull top when we finish. So now I want you to go like this. Okay, there. Now since you're not view both of these. Mark both lines. Okay? Because you're going to do six. Okay. That's right. So, pizza cut this line and that line. Hard, hard. Make sure it goes through. Alright. Did you get it? I think you're good. There's no, and good job with the notch. All right, cut it out. This will be easier because it's just one piece. <laughs> I 
Then the only thing you have left is the pocket to go on there. Okay, so that's all she has left is that pocket. Now I'm just gonna leave my pizza cutter and everything here. Okay. Oh, did I mark a pocket? Did I say pocket for you? I didn't. The one that she's already, just, you know what I would do is I'd just start right here and come around. And don't worry about that one. Just cut across the top and it's on the bottom. Okay? Don't worry about that edge. So it's right on the edge. Oh, that's fine. Alright, this one's going to go like this, sweetheart. Just like that, okay? Alright. Here's your pizza cutter. Here's your directions. Everybody's done with this one. Let me just put that right there. All right. I will see you next Thursday. Okay. Is 1030 best? Yes, with his nursing schedule. <laughs> As of this week, his nursing schedule. <laughs> well, in the NICU, they had him on a certain schedule, so it pretty much stays the same. Yeah. He, must, he didn't have to stay in there very long. No. Glad about that. It was yeah. long enough. <laughs> <laughs> he weighed what, three something at birth? Yeah, three and a half pounds. Wow. He's almost five pounds now. <laughs> He's so cute. All right, girls, I'll see you next week, okay? All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Time. You're welcome. Ah, so down. Speedy Gonzalez. You take forever to uh, pin, but then you speed through.